I don't know why the victory for the boss is on the floor behind the boss. Never understood it. Hey, Duke. Bye, Duke. And let's take a look at that bonfire we can't light. There's no treasure in here. You just get the branch of yore from killing the duke. And after we despawn everything, we'll, we'll, we will be back. Okay. We're gonna pause the recording real quick. I'm gonna run to the restroom and we're gonna see if we can knock out, um, the gutter in a couple seconds. So. YouTube, we'll be right back. Okay, YouTube, welcome back. You didn't miss anything. Just ate a bag of chips. Uh, we're gonna kill this nerd for being a nerd. We are going to... This man, we are going to unpetrify this man. And now we don't need to think about the fact that uh, we had one dude who would survive the purge. Because he won't. Uh, Vengrel doesn't get a tombstone, which is fine, because we got his gear. Okay, so what we have before us is options. Option number one. And it's the option we're taking. Is go to straight and see if we have any new spells. Number two, we're gonna level up. No, no new spells. And Freya's soul gives me a rapier and something else. All of it into int. Man with handgun arrested at Wisconsin Capitol returns with assault rifle. That tracks. We're up to 90 deaths. Okay, so, I think what I want to do is go to Huntsman's Coast, which is here, and I want to grab a few items. I don't want to go through this area yet, I just want to grab items. The Sunset Staff is for a quest. Uh, I did buy all of his spells, yep. Um, I will temporarily put pants on. I 
I'm going to have to lose these pants here in a second. Oh cool, the butterflies respawn. According to RimWorld, factual. The nudist debuff and buff in RimWorld only apply if you're wearing pants. Shirts? Fine. Pants? Illegal. Batman thought he was going clubbing. Little did he know, he was the seal. I'm also really far from my microphone right now. Let me scoot back in. Hang in there, buddy. Or don't. Let's trigger all the traps. We're a little over level for this area. Oh wow, you spawned on top of me. That's real rude, my guy. Scythe guys have come back, which is unfortunate because I really want their scythe. I somehow triggered this assassin to drop out of his tree early. That's real unfortunate on your part. Clothy ring, red eye ring, regeneration ring, covenant. Yeah, okay, those are all good. Come on, let me get the corner hop. Now, okay. Fine, I'll do this the intended way. Name this batch Ivan. Not a summon we need to care about. Is there an item behind this? No, there was not. Okay. There is another butterfly around here. Maybe I'm thinking of the PS3 version. 
Yo, this dude is fucking it. Look at him go. Good hiding spot. There's a lever in there. system. Thought you were people for a second. 4v1. Didn't work out in your favor. Can't be a mimic because it's being guarded by a knight. I need to use those. Get my SS flask to plus five, which I think is maximum. Okay, we are almost to my objective. don't remember how to open that. Let's go through the spooky cave! There's no bear at the end of this piece of tree. And it's not even about the friends you make along the way either. being really upset about this for some reason. And there we have it. Oh, that's the key I was looking for. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. It's that time of day again. If you're going to meet a strange man locked up in a cell for reasons that you aren't aware of, make sure to take off your pants first. Butterfly. Okay, now we run. Because we have gone completely in the wrong direction. Oh, 
he's a, he's a runner. Where are you going? God. Oh, okay, that was. I had him, I swear. It's like an egg thief, but worse. Pants are off. Hello, sir. Who are you? I thought you were that bastard for a moment. You've set me free. Now I can find him. The cheeky prick. He won't know what hit him. I am Creighton of Mira. I travel from land to land to hone my blade. I've heard this land was full of danger. I thought it would suit me perfectly. I joined forces with a man on the way. But he was no more than a backstabbing knave. He took the first chance he had to try and offer me. I decided to set a trap for him here. But then I got trapped myself. I can't believe that I was so dense. Thank the stars that you came along. You be careful of him. Pate, I think he said. He wears this rather unusual ring. You know it when you see it. I've seen this type before. He kills entirely for the pleasure of it. I'm sure I won't be his last victim. The man's better off dead. I tell you. He's a slick talker. So don't let him fool you. Pate. The man with a strong... And don't you believe, oh, I'll find the common for a bad. Pate. And I'll find. Uh, where is Pate's ring? Oh, I don't have it. Hmm. Pite. I'll find the common. I've definitely killed Pate. Stop running. Let's just see where this path takes us. Maybe we just need to refresh the uh, the bonfire for him to realize we've already killed Pate. Open up. Open up. jump back with my guy. Skeletons can't respawn. 
so when I go running through the cave, they'll all just die. I think I have to do this song and dance 15 times. I think I have to, to despawn the sorcerer before I can actually start killing the skeletons. Which is kind of annoying. But we'll make do. Despite the fact that some of them hadn't even spawned in yet. Kill the boss with crate to advance the thing. I don't know. I'll do that. I'll summon crate. We'll fight the boss. We'll bring fire all the way through the cave. No real reason why, just the simple joy of bringing the torch around. I would summon you, but I feel like you're going to body block me on this jump. Should be a fairly straightforward, easy fight. It, I don't even remember there being a boss. combination of being grossly overleveled for the fight and also just knowing exactly what to expect. So this dude I saved for last because he summons skeleton wheels. If you get those up first, it's just a bad time because they just run around and have it. No 
Otherwise, this will ask no shards. Just a straightforward punch out. NPCs here I can bring back to Majula, and I would like to grab both of them. Ah, uh, she's not in here. Cool. Poison myself for nothing. Oh, there she is. Are you a traveler? I'm Cloanne, an ore stone trader. I travel about collecting rare stones, which I sell to make my living. I never planned to visit this God's forsaken place. But I don't know. I just sort of ended up here. I must have just wandered in. <laughs> but now that I'm here, I've been scouting around for rare bits. Oh, don't look at me like that. Many of these stones are quite useful. For instance, certain stones are used in smithing. Ah, oh, now your ears prick up. <laughs> I've extras if you can pay. This is my trade, after all. Buy items. She sells. Not any of the ones that I need right now. Soul appease and dead again. I came here in search of rare stones, but the place is nothing like I was told. All this poison, and you can't get very far inside. Don't just go haplessly wandering about. Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. These stones may look all the same. To the trained eye, each is unique. Some of them are used to smith weapons and armor, and some unique stones provide special benefits. Some of them are extremely rare and should be used with great thrift. None of the differences are easily spotted, but I've learned quite a lot, really. <laughs> Drang Lake. How is it that I ended up here? It's funny. I can't seem to remember. I've searched every nook and cranny here. I suppose it's time to move on. Perhaps we'll meet again, if we live that long. <laughs> I've searched every... perhaps... Okay, cool. We're done here. I suppose it's... A... 